aircraft, industrial machinery, agricultural equipment, appliances, and more can outlive their expected lifetimes, making parts hard to find. So, how do you fix a machine when you can't order the part? The answer is reverse engineering, the action of recreating an existing design to replicate or replace parts that are impossible or hard to obtain any other way. It is generally used to fix legacy equipment or help engineers create designs to support third-party products. The basic process is to replicate the part digitally, typically in a computer-aided design software. The digital geometry is created by hand or using scan-to-CAD technology. Once the geometry is recreated, the engineer can build the part using traditional or additive manufacturing methods. Reverse engineering is like being an archaeologist who discovers an ancient machine created by unknown manufacturing processes. They study the machine to understand how it works, how it was used, and how it can be replicated. They can then reverse engineer parts of that machine so it looks complete in a museum display. In the engineering world, it works in a similar way. You may find a machine that is currently on the market or decades old. If the machine is broken and the original manufacturer is out of business, you may need to replicate a part to get it running again. The first step in a reverse engineering workflow is to accurately capture the dimensions of the part you'd like to recreate. This can painstakingly be done manually, but for many parts, that is not practical. Thankfully, 3D scanners automate this work and are available at a number of price points. The 3D scanner will take measurements of the part as it forms a point cloud. You can think of a point cloud as a series of dots on a Cartesian plane. The scanner's software will then transfer the point cloud into an STL file. A 3D scanner can be as simple as a phone camera or as complex as a laser scanner on a robotic arm. The better the scanner, the more detailed the point cloud. To transform the STL file into a watertight 3D model, engineers can use CAD software like ANSYS Discovery. Bad scan data is common in the engineering world, so it's best to have access to tools that can accommodate incomplete information in the STL file. ANSYS Discovery has STL repair tools that can fill in patches, holes, and missing faces. It can then blend these additions into the remaining geometry. This is useful for recreating a symmetrical part when you only have half of the original, or filling in the missing teeth of a gear, for example. If the original part is deformed or damaged, you can use ANSYS Discovery to digitally repair it back to its original shape. In the next lesson, we will learn about the STL facet cleanup tools in ANSYS Discovery.